Can I just fill this tank now already? Good lord, there we go. Yeah, fill it up. Fill up that blotto. <clears throat> All right, uh, what's... <laughs> Hey everybody, Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm really excited about today. We're finally gonna be talking about that Blotto RTA from Bogan and Dovpo. Right out of the gate, I wanna say that I feel like Dovpo has uh, really stepped up their manufacturing game. I don't remember any Dovpo product really ever that has been this well put together is this nicely machined this kind of all comes together really well so i mean dovpo's dovpo kind of killed it with the machining on this i've been using the blotto for a few weeks now it's just become spoiler alert huge spoiler alert it's kind of just become one of my favorite gd rtas that i have vaped kind of ever i'm having a little bit of a love affair with this blotto rta it just vapes so well. The airflow is so smooth. It's nice and flavorful. I've got it sitting right now on top of that Unicorn Vert Continuous Contact Mac Mod, and it's just, it, it's perfect. This is like a perfect daily banger just set up that I love, love, love so much. But first things first, and this is something I say a lot in uh, videos, is this is just in desperate need of a re-wicking. It needs to be re-wicked. And before I can show you how to break it down and show you what the deck's all about and show you how to wick it, we gotta go to the bathroom and rinse it out. <laughs> hey, that was awesome. Well, I forgot to I forgot to film the washing out part, but you, you, look, you didn't miss much. So we got this blotto all rinsed out, all cleaned out. Like I said, I didn't film it. First things first, let's take a look at this deck here. So there you can kind of see, it's kind of got that cradle of airflow design. There's airflow that kind of comes up on the side of the coils as well. This is designed for either either a dual coil or one large single coil. I went for dual coils right away. These are two and a half millimeters. Uh, they seem to fit in here just fine. It's a little bit of a tight fit. I've heard people saying that they put three millimeter coils in here and that's uh, that's that's crazy to try to fit dual three millimeter coils in here. I don't know. If you're brave enough, go for it. I didn't feel confident enough. <laughs> but that's just the build I have in there now. It's kind of like a postless design just a little bit. You can kind of drop your leads in at an angle and then you have two flathead set screws on that side, two flathead set screws on this side, and then you can see the way that your cotton's going to go through those coils. You got a little cotton catch right there and another little cotton catch right there. I don't know what those lines on my video are. Oh, that's just slightly obnoxious. One piece chimney. The glass has an O-ring on it. It does come with a bubble glass that I will not be using today. It's branded right there with the patented Bogan skull. Two large kidney-shaped juice fill holes on top. And this is one of those quick-release tops where you just need to give it like one little spin and it pops off. It's just tabs and notches and it works flawlessly. So all I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna work out these hot spots. I'm gonna get these coils glowing nice and evenly. I'm probably not gonna go over the process every step of the way, but I'm just gonna wick it and I'm gonna wick it like an RTA and I'm gonna tuck those wicks down into those cotton catch cups right there. more or less something like that. I just measured the wicks, kind of cut them off, cut them off so that they go down into those little, uh, you know, wick catch cups right there. It's going to be exposed to the tank of the liquid. Easy, 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 easy peasy, beezy, be, what? and I'm fucking, I'm dripping liquid fucking everywhere. And I'm like, what is going on right now? This bottle, uh, it has a gigantic fucking hole in it. Look at the side, look at this. Yeah, yeah, great, great. Yeah, awesome. Just liquid on the deck, that's what you want. That's what you're after. Can I just fill this tank now already? Good Lord, here we go. Yeah, fill it up. Fill up that blotto. Yeah, good lord, man. 
That bottle was just straight up broken. I've, I've never seen anything like that. In my 10 years of age, I have never seen a bottle that completely broken. Completely, completely took me by surprise. My, my office is just gonna smell like skull and crossbones. That's it. My office just smells like skull and crossbones now. I think, of, I think more of it went on my desk than went into the RTA, but despite these minor setbacks, we still did manage to re-wick and refill up the Blotto RTA. Like you saw, it's super easy to wick. You just, honestly, you just measure your wicks, trim them, stuff them in, Boom, it's super easy, super easy. Honestly, the build itself is super easy. I know I didn't rebuild it in this video, but it is fairly easy to rebuild. You just clip your leads, drop them in at two different angles, boom, boom, adjust them. I mean, I'm not gonna go over every step, obviously, of like how to build a coil, but it is real easy, real easy install in there. So all of that aside, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, I don't care if it's easy to build, I don't care if it's easy to wick, I don't care what it looks like, it just has to vape good, right? That's all I'm after in a vape. Okay, well maybe I do care about the deck and I do care what it looks like, but most importantly, I do care what it vapes like. And the Blotto RTA is just a beautiful RTA vape experience, man. So nice, so flavorful. These coils in here are nice and nice and crackly, so I get that crackly sensation that I like. The AFC, let me try to show you the AFC, but you might have seen this while it was being built, but the AFC has like a, uh, it's not gonna focus, and that's fantastic. I love it when that happens. That's my favorite. Okay, fuck you, other camera. It's not gonna focus. The AFC has like a honeycomb pattern on it, on the outside, so it really, I mean, everybody knows that honeycomb, it just smooths out the airflow. It does make this RTA feel a little bit spongy in the airflow, feeling a little bit spongy. It's nice and smooth, but it does definitely, definitely feel spongy. And the airflow, even full open, isn't like really super cloud chasey. It's honestly a little bit restricted, which I really enjoy. God, it's good. It's just a, it's just a really, really damn good vape, damn good RTA. I love a good RTA, and I'm kind of glad that RTAs feel like they're making a little bit of a comeback. I love, I love RTAs. They're so much more cost effective, in my opinion, than sub ohm tanks. But that's just my personal whatever opinions thrown in there. You know, there's honestly zero that I can fault the Blotto RTA on. Construction top to bottom is just so nice. This little quick pull at the top, just one twist on and off. I love that design element. I think it's got a really serviceable deck. You can throw a couple of different builds at this and it will hold them. It's real easy to wick. I've never had a problem with it not keeping up with the wicking. I don't thin out my cotton wicks, which some people do, I do not. And even not doing that, it's still wicks like a champion. I feel like it's pretty hard to mess up building and wicking the Blotto RTA. Just loving it, just loving it. So let's get down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Blotto RTA? Not really. Clicking around the internet, I can find it for about 35 bucks, which is damn near the price point of cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game, or I guess we could call it the California Department of Public Health game, we could call this a lot of things, but let's say some sort of official in a suit comes to my house and takes all of my vape gear, and I have nothing left to vape, absolutely nothing left to vape. Is the Blotto RTA something I'm gonna seek out and buy? Yeah, dude, yeah, dude, no questions asked. Hands down, I dig this RTA. I'm gonna keep digging this RTA. I'm gonna keep using this RTA because it's just really very good and I like it. I like it and I don't care who knows it. It's just so good. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description anymore. Thank you so much, YouTube. You're gonna have to use that Google Foo, but thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And as always, no matter what is in your hand, yes, let's keep on vaping.